would I have said that back then? My name is Paul, and this is the Lamborghini LP560 Spider. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a stunning Monday. I hope your Monday has been going absolutely fantastic. The time is currently 10 a.m. in the morning and I'm up and I'm ready to go. And firstly, I wanna start this video off by saying how thankful and appreciative and also overwhelmed I am at the success of the SOL clothing launch that happened last night at 5 p.m. And, and I also want to apologize for those that tuned into the Supercars London YouTube channel, watched the video and then went over to the website because by that time the t-shirt the t-shirts were probably sold out. They sold out in 12 minutes. 100 limited t-shirts sold out in 12 minutes. I cannot believe that that happened. This is the first time that I've ever done anything like that. And I just want to thank you for showing all of your support. Um, I think the website got over three and a half to four thousand hits in the first two minutes or something crazy like that. My mind was blown and I spent the entire evening on my phone and laptop processing each individual order um, so that I could send them over to ATW and get the t-shirts printed as soon as possible and they say that they're going to be done within the next 24 hours all 100 of them will be done within 24 hours which will mean that they'll all get sent off this week so that is seriously exciting i wanted to start off um, on a really upbeat oh, i was just i was absolutely gobsmacked yesterday when those t-shirts went live on the website there was a few technical glitches um but i suppose it happens so like I said, I apologize for those that didn't get their hands on um, the first launch, but I'm gonna be working hard to do the second one as soon as possible. So more on that coming soon. What I'm gonna do today is I randomly stumbled across a video of mine, of my first supercar. And I'll explain my first supercar when I pull over and do the main bit of this video. Um, and I watched it for about half a minute and just started to shrivel up, get cringed out. So what I'm gonna do today is react to some of my old My First Supercar videos, but not just any My First Supercar videos, the Lamborghini ones. Right, okay, so here we go. Into videos. This might take a while to scroll. Might fast forward this bit actually. Right, okay, here we go. So there we go, the start, the first nine seconds is a bit of a teaser of what to expect in this video. And then we come into the slow-mo, very dramatic, my first supercar intro that is long gone. And now we have got the really cool, epic Supercars of London intro. Hello. Hello and welcome to my first <laughs> Supercar. Last week, last week. <laughs> right, let's just stop it here. 26 seconds in. And here I am. I'm sat inside the Lamborghini LP560. I can feel myself getting warm just watching this back, like starting to sweat, starting to get a bit cringeworthy. And as you can see, I'm dressed up as smart as possible. I've got my black Parata della Strada polo shirt on and I'm sat in the Premier Velocity LP560. I've already got in my head pretty much a script. It's not exactly a script as in written down and remembered, but I know exactly what I'm trying to say here. There's no personality. I don't feel that there's any sort of, of me actually coming across. I'm just presenting to camera, but I, because I'm only in front of the camera, for, I've only been in front of the camera for two months before, I'm still very nervous and very quiet as you can see. So today we're reviewing one of my favorite cars. My name's Paul and this is the Lamborghini LP560 Spyder. <laughs> what an intro, let's pause it there. So there's the intro, my name is Paul and this is the Lamborghini LP560 Spider. How would I have said that back then? My name is Paul and this is the Lamborghini LP560 Spider. <laughs> so I probably, I hope watching this back and then watching this back whilst I'm editing, hopefully I've come out of my shell and become a bit more me on camera. This is obviously very scripted and very to the point, straight down the, straight down the narrow. Also, let's just rewind that startup. 
my name's Paul and this is the Lamborghini LP560 Spider. So now actually owning a very similar car to this, the Gallardo, I've now known you have to put your foot on the brake, turn it until all of those beeps stop so that the engine is set up correctly and then start up. Bad practice from me. Okay, now we've got some details coming up onto the car. You can see the supercar stats here. Welcome to the Lamborghini LP560 Spider, a review that I've been waiting to do for a long time. <laughs> Lamborghini are my favourite car manufacturers ever. Um, well, that hasn't changed. I've got two, and we've finally been given the green light to do one on my first supercar. Okay, so I feel like I'm relatively fluent with the way that I'm talking, but there's just no... Still, there's just no personality coming through. I'm trying to obviously at the time be my best that I have been on camera I'm probably slating my own performance back then I'd be like what the hell are you talking about like I'm trying to I'm doing my best there's no smile I don't look excited about being in the Lamborghini James in, switch his V10 on and take us out for a spin like even that bit I can't wait for James to get in this car turn the V10 on and go for a spin back then I was like I can't wait to get James in, switch his V10 on and take this out for a spin. I can't wait for James to get in this car and go for a spin. There's no there's no enthusiasm or there's no uh, there's no feeling to this. Like I don't feel like I'm excited about watching this video. So we've got James in the driver's seat. Back in the driver's seat again. I've got a smile on my face, you've got a smile on your face. Oh yes. <laughs> You know what that means. I can only be one thing. <laughs> We're in a Lamborghini. We're in a Lamborghini. Okay, now, 10 seconds into the car, I can feel myself coming forward a little bit more in the car. I'm smiling, I'm getting excited at the fact that we're in the Lamborghini. Um, maybe what I should have done on my first supercar is gone out in the car first and then filmed the intro and outro so that you just get a little bit more excitement on the car. I'm cringing out just watching this. <laughs> Right, let's quickly review my appearance in the video and looking now at myself here and looking myself on the camera or looking myself in the mirror, not much has changed apart from these side bits have got slightly shorter. My facial hair is relatively similar. I haven't changed that design basically because I can't grow it anymore or in any other places than just where you see it. Um, and my hair isn't actually different to what it is now. Black t-shirt as well. And I was wearing black trousers. I mean, black t-shirt and black shorts today with black shoes. I'm the same person as I was two years ago, but I've just swapped from the passenger seat to the driver's seat. The LP560 Spider, the yeah. car that's been around actually for quite a while now. Well, the Gallardo, um, the Gallardo has just come out, of, just come out of production. Okay, a really cool thing that I'm loving about my first supercar, and something that I'm really keen on implementing in some of my videos now that I've got the Bicolori is the external views that you just don't really get on YouTube. And it's a shame because obviously I've stuck up a suction cup in here and I film the interior of the car and I'm talking about it. We're doing really cool accelerations. We've got good reactions of the people inside the car. But the thing that we're lacking is exterior shots. And this is something that I'm really hoping to work on, but it does require a bit of a camera crew, which um, is something that I've been reluctant to invest into, not so much invest financially, but just invest time-wise, because I edit all of my videos, and like today, I'm shooting on the day of the upload, and it's very difficult for me to have more than one camera. Um, I've stretched myself to two, and it does make editing slightly different and a little bit more difficult, but also time-consuming as well. What we have here is because they are weekly videos, my first supercar came out midday every single Saturday from October through to February, I think it was. I spent one day down at Premier Velocity, I nailed the content, took a lot of takes, but I got it, and then went home and I had about four or five days to edit the video. At the current point on Supercars of London and trying to do daily videos and daily vlogs, it does it does sort of shorten the time frame that I have to edit the video. So more than one camera angle is quite difficult at the moment, but it is something that I really, really want to do. And I suppose in the coming uh, days and potentially in the next week, I'll be making an announcement on the Supercars of London YouTube channel that will hopefully enable me to implement um, some exterior shots of my car as I'm driving. What's going to be really, really important is getting exterior shots of my car once it's got the exhaust system. I can't wait for this. As I'm sure a lot of the 
YouTube viewers have been waiting for a Lamborghini for a Lambo tunnel. tunnel run. Lambo tunnel There's run. no need now to YouTube search Lamborghini tunnel run because we're about to do one. Oh, there's a build up. The tunnel looms. It's always the anticipation. Yeah. <laughs> Downshift. The tunnel looms. More build up. Come on, just let it play. <laughs> So there we go, there we go. That is the massive smile on my face as we nail it through the tunnel. Again, because it's Premier Velocity, James works for Premier Velocity and it's a Premier Velocity car, we can't really put our foot down too much, but what you can see is, again, that there is a switchable angle between the exterior and the interior, which actually looks really cool and works very well, so I'm definitely gonna be looking into that. So let's do one final review on my first supercar, the Lamborghini LP560-4 Spider. We'll start with the intro. I felt like I didn't come across that well on camera. I was obviously very nervous. It was one of the first few months that I was been doing this, like pieces to camera. And by no means do I feel like I'm better, but hopefully like my personality is coming across a lot more. My hand movements are still pretty much the same. Um, but overall, the intro was pretty dead. If I tuned into YouTube and watched myself introduce a Lamborghini like that with no expression whatsoever, it didn't seem like my passion was coming through either. Um, I was just very sort of, very robotic in the sense of how I was talking, how, what I was talking about. It was, seemed very scri uh, scri scripted. Yeah, scripted. Looking back and seeing the views and the comments that still come in from that series, it's amazing. So thank you to everyone that's tuned in and watched my first supercar over the years and followed me on my journey up to the R8 and then even now. And it's just, it's mind blowing to see where my YouTube channel has gone, starting from just a single thought that was, I need to make it more of a year round YouTube channel, not just a summer thing filming the supercars in London as they turned up from the Arab States. I needed to create something during the winter so you guys could tune in and still have supercar content whilst there wasn't any cars in London. So hopefully I fulfilled that gap in your YouTube um, subscriptions base. I need to film this, edit it, upload, and get cracking for tomorrow's video, which should feature the Armitrix exhaust system. But that is it, let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see me react to more videos, whether it's further back or whether it's more recent stuff that's a little bit embarrassing, a little bit cringing, whatever it is, I wanna know from you guys what you want to see on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. Thank you for watching as always, and thank you so much for the support on the SOL clothing launch that happened yesterday. I'm gonna be working hard this afternoon to get that in place for another one, the second Supercars of London clothing launch happening very soon. Thanks for watching. If you're new, please subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another Supercars of London video. Bring it on. I will see you then. Cheers, guys. With Sam from Scene Through Glass. How's Who's my hair look? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Corsa, no, no, no.